from semi-global matching uh, algorithm in ISAE, Range Station Automatic Elevations Extended. As you can see as I zoom in here, you can see that the points uh, are actually in three dimensions and therefore uh, shows up all the features of the imagery. So here I'm in a uh, 3D environment. These are the point clouds and it's picking up on all the features you would expect it to uh, with a good uh, a good solution. And also change the color if I wanted to to get a better view of of the point cloud in a um, in a ramped environment as well. So I'm going to throw in a different image here so you can see it working. Okay, this one's the San Juan foothills in Colorado. So we can zoom into this. As you can see, picking up on all these fun features. Really looks good. Trees, rock sides, rivers. Here we have some two centimeter DMC data. As you can see the buildings come out quite nice. This is actually on our website. You can access this sample data uh, just by going to our, our website and downloading it. But you can see it's pulling out the cars. It's even pulling out some of these these lamp posts and such, I mean, just incredible. Even the side mirrors on, on some of these cars, if I zoom in too far, it will be dissipated, but uh, I think you can get a pretty good idea as to what the what it's pulling out for automatically generating uh, a point cloud from imagery. It's, it's really, uh, really quite nice. And there's a, even a bridge over here for the train tracks to go over top of the road, which is kind of kind of neat. And of course, you can do uh, measurements on all this stuff and uh, add or remove points um, and, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to load up another file here in just a second. This one's of Alle, Germany. Complex building shapes, no problem. Look at this one here. We need to have to digitize all that. I mean, granted, we have feature assist to collect those features but now we have that pretty much collected for you this environment point clouds it's like a point cloud image seems kind of good Again, it's pulling this from the imagery, a stereo pair of imagery, so you're you're going to just get the, the tops of the roofs for now until we can implement an oblique uh, aspect to the sensor, to the SGM model, so that we could maybe even fill in the sides there, but uh, that'll come. But even with just the tops, obviously that's going to be a, a huge help for those um, that are trying to get uh, elevations of uh, buildings and, and types of mountains and such uh, right from the top. More DMC imagery, uh, this time Japan. So, I see the size of the mountains in this range. That's why the, the colors of the trees look a little different. Um, because it's in Japan. But again, good way to grab any features buildings, rivers, even the, the canal here where it doesn't seem like there's a lot of water in it. It's picking up on, on the, all the features in that under the bridges. Not too shabby. Finally, this uh, airplane image, field of airplanes, as you can see it's picking up on these airplanes really quite nicely. 
and again we're, we're seeing the tops of them obviously but uh, feature identification nonetheless picking up on this airplane boneyard the graveyard of airplanes but really quite nice and that's the semi-global matching algorithm used in ISAE extended Emmy Station Automatic Elevations Extended, which you can get uh, a sample of on our website. It'll be that Germany uh, in image that has the, the buildings in it. I'll download that, take a look at it, use Quick Terrain Viewer if you want a nice, easy, free viewer to view this in. Um, and you can, can see how well the, the algorithm works. And thank you for your time.